excited oh my with effort gosh, for Gosh, you look beautiful. I don't know where that's coming from. I'm and shedding. I'm not hung over this you know, time. Oh, congratulations. So you're welcome. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> oh, wait, so you, you were just in Kansas City, right? I was. I what mean, were you doing in Kansas City? We were actually, Jason, you know, Mr. Sudeikis, yeah. uh, called me in and said, would I come down to Kansas City, his hometown, yeah. and be part of Thundergong? which raises funds for the Steps of Faith Foundation for single and double amputees who can't afford any health care themselves. Yeah. And we raised $800,000. Oh, my God! Oh, <laughs> that's so lovely! Yeah. Yeah, and amazing. I, I hear that you flew in last minute, too. You were in Singapore? I, I was in Singapore. What were you doing in Singapore? I was what hosting... What is your life? I know, yeah. mental. Yeah. <laughs> I was hosting the uh, Environmental Awards, the Earthshot Prize, for a little-known man called Prince William. Never heard of him. No. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's been a little bit... I have no idea where any of my molecules are at the moment. <laughs> They're just so all over the yeah. seat 3A <laughs> from yeah. an yeah. airplane. <laughs> You've met King Charles as, as well, right? Yes. I think we have a photo because I want to talk about this smirk real quick. Wait. I mean... <laughs> there we go. What? <laughs> what? What's behind no. that that smirk? Okay, so he sidled up to me and looked at my heels and went, "Oh, I didn't realize we were dressing." I shouldn't do an impression of the king. <laughs> Sorry, sir. He was, he was like, oh, you know, I didn't realise we were uh, dressing up. And I said, well, you did get the memo, Your Highness, but you chose to just wear your flats. <laughs> and, and that's was, a you issue. He was so... Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's not my problem that you didn't dress up. Oh, my God. But you're, you are, like, tall in general. I love when women that are tall wear heels, because I'm short, and I wish I had height. But I hate it because I have tall friends that'll sometimes not wear heels because they feel like, oh, I don't want to, like... Oh, no, I'm all about the heels. I love it. I have you like, always been that confident? Yeah, if you're, you know, I'm five foot eleven in my stocking feet, and I just think if I'm going to go in on a heel, I'm not going to do an apologetic kitten. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm going to be offensive. <laughs> yeah. Offensive. I'm going to go offensive. Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Did your I I heard that your dad actually taught you to stick up for yourself, right? Yeah, my dad. I mean, considering he's a very kind of old school, traditional English gentleman. Yeah. One thing he always said was just like, oh, my Look daddy! Oh, Beautiful. You know, he was uh, Roger Moore's body double back in the day. Are you serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, oh, my gosh. A, he's a slick-looking man. He is. But he was always... You don't look half bad yourself there, just Thanks saying. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. He, um, yeah, he always had my back, even from when I was, like, 10, 12 years old, when, when his kind of dinosaur friends would be kind of inappropriate and say inappropriate things. Oh. And I would shoot straight back at them. My dad would just be like, well, you feel pretty stupid now, don't you, to his friends. Oh, my God, I yeah. love that. And I think that's where How inappropriate my, of his yeah, friends. Vile pig vomits. Very... <laughs> Just calling them out. I love away. it. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been like it all. You have to, life. or they'll feel comfortable doing that with everyone. And not right. everyone is as brave or bold as that. You know what I'm saying? Not but every I think that comes from having a dad that was just like, go on, my girl. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. wait. You shared. You shared recently that you're currently in a give no <laughs> era. Yeah. Here's <laughs> here's my thing. Absolutely zero. I have been in that era. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you and I, junior high. Uh, yeah. yeah, we are fully. As soon paid as you're just members. fully bullied, and you're like, yeah. there is oh, no. I was properly bullied. There... Yes, me yes. too. Yes. Yes. Really properly bullied. Like yes. one time by a very tall girl. She shall re na name. I can't say it. Name remain nameless. I can't say it. Where I have been is drinking. She now? Yeah. <laughs> no, she like pushed my head. She just would literally physically harm me at school. Yeah. And I was little. Like I yeah. was like, yeah. So what I camera would, yeah. on. Yeah. In your face, whoever yeah. you are. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, did you get that? Because you're... I imagine you didn't, because you're tall. You could have no, been I like, got, what'd you it. say? I got it. No, because I oh. wasn't. I wasn't. I was quite shy. <laughs> I, I was, I was too. Nobody yeah. believes me. Yeah, no, I was... What I was, happened to we're us? We're called introverted extroverts. Yes, I think that's yes, what it, is. it is, actually. Yeah. Well, they used to tease me about my height when they were all, you know, much, much smaller than me. Yeah. And so, likewise, where's the camera? <laughs> In your face. Like, look at me now. Yeah. yeah. Um, OK, wait, speaking... OK, I, wait, no, speaking... Can I just say, you look now. so hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, hot. 
right? Okay, that is a good segue now. Thank you. Oh, so speaking of hot, yes. you were super hot in Hocus Pocus. And <gasps> here's the thing. I know it's the wrong season. It. Look, it's Christmas. I'm like back to the future right now. But here's the thing. Are th I heard that there's a Hocus Pocus 3 happening and like maybe more of, of you in it. And I'm really excited about that. I mean, I would be excited about that if I, I knew anything about it. Oh, well, we heard. I would, I would be if there. If I in a heard heartbeat. from a liar, I am going to be very upset. <laughs> Because I, mean, I love that, and I love the, the outfit. You played. Yes. yes, at least another outing. Yes, you know, there's it's so insane. many ways you can go with that. And yes. I just think her being absolutely revolting, but looking great. But doing it with such style. Yes. Yeah. And the whole. I would have wanted to be a child eaten by her. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's a I segue so. there. <laughs> I, <love it. laughs> I hope so. I loved it. Oh my it god, was it was too fleeting. So I absolutely good. Loved it. I, and I didn't expect it. That's what I loved about it. I was like, is that Hannah? I, I remember you I, just I going. I freaked out. I was like, wait, what? Is there going to be a sequel? I was, anyway, <laughs> that's the wrong holiday. I don't care. It's my <laughs> show. Yeah. I will say what I want. Mean girl that bullied me yeah. at school. <laughs> that was the look at her Apple TV Plus holiday special. It's called Hannah Wanting I'm Home for Christmas. I am so excited. You, well done. Look at my boys being a load of Christmas hams. I love it. But, and also, one, you sound incredible. Two, you look incredible. Like, the whole thing is like throwback. Is that the whole vibe? Yes, that was the vibe. Oh. Yes. And, yeah. and, and Apple TV were amazing. We're just like, what do you want it to be? Which is like, Pinch me, yeah, all pinch me. Moments. They usually have all the ideas. All of the opinion, but they were they were literally yeah. just like, no, what do you want it to be? And I was like, yeah. I feel like I want it to be an old school, completely timeless, yeah. like Dean Martin meets Carol Burnett. And you know, you can sit there with like your four-year-old granddaughter or your 90-year-old husband, yeah. and all just it is a, a completely joyous musical extravaganza. I love it. I'm it's and it's it makes you so happy when you're doing them. They're my favorite things to do, anything dealing with Christmas. But what was like your favorite, if you had to pick a favorite performance? Um, do you know what? Probably not the one that people would think it would be. I have two beloved friends called Scott Baker and Patrick Davey, and they are the fabulous lounge swingers in London. Okay. And they are two of my greatest loves. They are a gay couple that have been together since they were 15. And I just really? wanted it, yeah, and they've been married for like 10 years. And they're not known, they're not famous, and they are my daughter's godfathers. And I wanted to, you know how I talk about, you know, keeping the door open for other people? Yeah. I wanted to go, look, guys, look, look at these people I have. Yeah. And so we sing, have yourself a merry little Christmas, and we have... Phil Dunster from Ted Lasso joining us on stage, and it's the four of us, and it's literally like four pals hanging out. Now that's the best, song. though, yes. because then you feel like you're in someone's living room. You're like, you yes. get something like almost like behind the scenes. Yeah, I like take that. your shoes off and just yeah. you know grab your eggnog, and just here's the spike it, if you will. Yeah. Um, no, always. but here's the thing too is like that's the time when I, it always annoys me because I we'll do things in our careers, and they're always like, oh, can you do something more well known? And I'm like. Why don't we make this well known? See, I agree. See, You're absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Did you? You shot. It's a beautiful theater. You shot that in a theater that's special At to your mom. At the London Coliseum. Yeah. yeah. My mum was uh, a mezzo soprano opera singer. Yeah. Um, at the London Coliseum in the English National Opera, Mama. Oh my gosh. Um, for thirty years there. Wow. So and you know that building. Well. I know that building literally like like a little kiddie from the age of eight until she retired when I was 38. Yeah. And I used to run around that building talking to like the restroom attendants yeah. and the canteen staff. I once Did got you know myself the secret locked hideaway? in, in oh. the, the orchestra, the, behind the orchestra pit. There's like the store for, and I thought it was a very good idea to go into it and someone shut the door. You mean like where it's like under the stage, like yeah, where they store yeah, stuff? Oh my yeah. God, I used to do that at my church. Yeah. Sorry, Mom. Yeah, it's not, yeah. <gasps> yeah, they used to do we that at our church. Yeah. We're inquisitive minds, Yeah, that's all. A little yeah. curious. So it was just, it was amazing to be back there. Yeah. And you, one of the songs, Oh Holy Night, that I do, um, I had the English National Opera Chorus, you know, that's their home. And they heard that I was doing a special there and I had held out for that theater and they heard and they offered to come and sing with me and some of them are still there from when my mom was there so it was pretty what a full sort emotional yeah and then you probably have your daughter there my little girl so i was there from the age of eight yeah and i put my little girl who was eight when we shot it in may no in the same box that i used to always <laughs> sit in box as in theatrical box not like a box i would make her do exactly <laughs> what i said in the box <laughs> <laughs> so she was there she was there, my mom was there, and I, I dedicated the song to, to the two women in my life. 
That is so special. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like you're doing something giving for other people, but what a full circle moment for yourself. Yeah. Is it hard to sing in front of your mom since she's like yeah, opera singer? It is, but well, the harder thing was, and I know that you you touch on it quite a lot, you know, the the, the struggle of Christmas as well sometimes. And, and I make no bones about it that my, my beloved Ma is sitting back there heavily uh, inflicted with Parkinson's now and in a wheelchair. Mm. And I didn't know if her or my dad were gonna be there at all or even be alive. So yeah. it was a, a really special, poignant moment. Mm. And I, I actually thought I was gonna struggle to sing, but it, but it came out okay. And, you know, I've, I've heard you highlight the fact of people's loneliness at Christmas or, or yeah. finding it difficult. Yeah. And so I just And that's okay. To, that's, yes, it's, every Christmas is in. in. Yeah. yeah, we're so similar like that, yeah. of, of just, Showing there's the glossy, yeah. gorgeous side, and then there's the the hard side mm -hmm. as well. So I thought it was important to to let people know while I was there that that we don't all have everything sorted out or how we would like it to be, but we all join together and and try and make so powerful make it for you, but. Wow, how powerful that domino effect is for everyone yeah. watching. Yeah. That it's going yeah. through maybe something similar, just having a hard time. Like, yes. I think it's important to say that everybody always thinks that I like listening to Christmas music because it cheers me up. But I mean, there have been Christmases where I am like crying. On your knees. And I'm like, well, this is right. not how I expected my right. life to go, you yeah. know? And I think that happens. It's yeah. good that you touched on that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're both single mamas. It's the holidays. This can be a little, it, it, here's the thing it can be a little overwhelming just because I, I like to be super thoughtful, and that can be very overwhelming for all the people in your life and your yeah. kids, and you want to make it magical. But I also find that it can be very special because we have our own little things that we do that 100%. nobody else gets in on. Yeah, we do. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very special... I'm hoping that when she gets older, whatever happens with me in my life romantically, mm. I know that she will look back on our years together, and I always say to her, it's just us little chickens. Yeah. When, when she looks back, she'll go, that was the best of times, just with my mama. Oh, I love that. Well, nothing to say after that. That was perfect. Let's do another commercial break, everybody. Hannah Waddingham, Home for Christmas, is now streaming on Apple TV+. Plus.